It's have okay. You, have you been to Portugal? Oh no! Oh, is it because I have you doing uh, performing labor for me every single fucking day in basically the same location? And don't talk about how stinky my tights are. I know they stink. That's how I like them. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. I wash them just enough so that they're clean, but not odorless. <laughs> clean, but not odorless. <laughs> <laughs> if only we could all live our lives that way. These fucking dung beetles, dude. I know. Pains like. in the asses. It's like, you know, when you when you showed up in the neighborhood rolling around your fucking balls of shit, I didn't say anything because you gotta respect other people's religions. <laughs> but when you start running them into me, and you expect me to just take that, I'd be like, oh, sorry, uh, I didn't see where I was going. I know where I was going. You're the one who can't see. <laughs> and, I, and, then, and then you just look at me like I'm, like it's my fault. Like, it's my fault that this little ball of shit that you're rolling around with your legs split open because it ran into my body? <laughs> and all the shit I'm trying to collect? And then, and then you bring that shit up at the fucking, like, um, homeowners association meeting? <laughs> you're like, oh yeah, um, the motherfucker from house 415, yeah. He split my fucking ball of shit. <laughs> he split my shit. And very, very convenient that, you know, you had to bring that up on a night that I couldn't make it. <laughs> uh, why, couldn't I, why couldn't I make it? Because I was out organizing for mutual aid, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> well, I was trying to feed the homeless and here you are rolling around your piece of shit. You don't even have kids to feed it to. It's just some sort of hobby for you. Do you know how many cousins I have? What? That has nothing to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> that has nothing to do with the scenario that I'm making up off the top of my head. What the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, I don't know. Don't you know how many cousins I have? What, what are they going to do? They're going to beat me up? Well, they're going to kick my ass? They probably could. Ace would probably, would probably fuck, fuck some shit up. Asexual people can beat the shit out of motherfuckers. It's because they have all that, like... I was gonna say they have all that sexual energy, but they don't have sexual energy. It's just... It's like, it's just an untapped reservoir of, like, ambiguous... Um... Uh, stuff. <laughs> I love that ambiguous stuff. Oh shit, you got the compass. Now you oh. can see where you're going. <laughs> oh, funny. <laughs> Little rats. Get the, f get the fuck good. Yeah. Scream for me. <laughs> I don't like this. I'm not comfortable anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that I would record with you, but only if you didn't. Start bringing up, um, like your weird sadomasochistic sexual <laughs> stuff. The thing <laughs> is that I didn't, you just thought that I did. <laughs> because, uh, I mean, let's just say it, you've been thinking about me all the time. You got. You got me, you got me, no, I got you hooked on me. <laughs> and on accident, that's just my magnetism. <laughs> this is fucking awkward. <laughs> <laughs> people, people don't like me like that. People don't get interested in me like that. And it's because when I'm not making a facial expression, I look like... I look like uh, I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> Aww. And they're like, 
They're like... They look like they need help, but I'm not about to invest my efforts, my energy into that. <laughs> you got better things to do. Like go on Tinder. It's Tinder. Tinder. <laughs> What am I doing? I don't know. And I don't want to know. You're running around trying to get to 50 CMs. Fuck. Ooh. I was going to say 50 cums. <laughs> <laughs> that is the But the unfortunately, that's not the case. <laughs> I feel like teenagers... Reach 50 comes sometimes in the week. Let's not talk about teenagers coming, alright? Yeah, that was weird. It's supposed to be a masturbation joke that went horribly wrong. It's okay, we'll just pick up some slippers and snappers. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Every time. Okay, that one wasn't as bad. Ooh, goes around and around. What well, goes around it comes around. I'm, I, don't, I wanted to follow that up. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did too. I uh, failed on that quite heavily. Quite heavily. Quite heavily. <laughs> That's how my failures get measured. That's uh In heaviness. That's a strange metric. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it works, you know? It works for me. You're just saying that. I don't think there's anything... There's no logic behind what you're saying right now. <laughs> what is happening? Why are you... Oh shit, you got a boom box, though. I got a boom box? <laughs> <laughs> the baby boy got a boom box? Well, you can start picking up the carrots now. Cinder blocks, hell I yeah. I to pick up the cinder blocks. That was the most... Um, ...satisfying thing for me. That was nice. Hold on, get that dog. Bow, wow. Bow, wow. You picked up some takoyaki. Well, the king's like, bow, wow. <laughs> Oh, you got a cat, too. You got a dog and a cat, so you're good. You're covered. And they're fighting inside this katamari. <laughs> hissing and spitting at each other, tearing each other apart. And you can only get them at the end, because if you get them at the beginning, the katamari starts developing a blood trail. <laughs> oh, God, that'd be a hell of a... Both because they tore each other apart, but also because they're being crushed by the material that's being added to the katamari. Yeah, they they would not last long. Eighty three point six, basically. Alrighty, that's it. Mm. That's not bad though. You crushed that one. Crushed it. Crushed it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, that's kind of what's gonna happen, right? It's turning into a star. I wanted to say... <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna say it. Crushed it. <laughs> Fuck. No. No, I'm not gonna say it. It's... Uh, I'm just so curious now, though. Fuck, I didn't get the present from there? Aw. Uh, you don't get your chef's hat. Make a fall. Huh? Okay. Buenos dias. You ever been, to, ever Spain? been to Spain? No, I didn't go to Spain. Spain came to me. In the form of the fucking 
conquistadors in the Inquisition. <laughs> yeah. yeah and they colonialism. Did. did I ever tell you that I did the uh, 23 and Me? No. And I came back as exactly 50% Spanish, 50% indigenous. Really? Yeah. Okay. I've wanted to do that for so long, but they're fucking expensive. It came back and it's like... They were like, oh, you're super Mexican. <laughs> you're literally the product of colonialism. Jesus. Yeah, I don't. Anna's wanted to do one for her because there was a lot of different like adoptions and stuff on her dad's side of the family, so they don't really know where a lot of their family's from. So they just want to know something basically. So she's wanted to do it. And then like I've I've just been generally curious about mine, but I know it's pretty much all like Scandinavia and all super white countries. So like yeah, I won't be really surprised. You by anything. Scandinavian? You're not tall enough. <laughs> I know I've gotten fucked over over the years apparently. Like, your whole family is not tall enough. No. I think that if you did a 23andMe and it came back and it had any Scandinavian, I'd say that they were fucking lying to you. <laughs> Which, honestly, could be a possibility. You'd be like, oh yeah, there's like 1.5% finish in your DNA. I would call them and ask for a refund. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen this person? He is not finished. Let's, let's end up Send a picture of you 223 and me and they'd be like, fuck, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, we fucked something up. We got your results mixed up with someone else. <laughs> yeah, you're short, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is true. Whoa. Did you see those rats nice. hovering in stasis? Yeah. And then they, they, they corrected themselves. Very strange. Very eerie. <laughs> I wanted to say very Beverly Cleary, but that's not um, relevant. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure what she wrote. I don't either. I feel like she did uh, mystery stuff, maybe? Did she? I just remember there were a lot of her books in... Between like first and third grade, something like that. Yeah. So she just wrote like kids style books, but I don't remember what they actually were content wise. Curious, curious, curious. Come on, man. I want to. I want to be better than this. I wanna... Come on, come on, man. Come on. Oh, well, you can pick up a bunch of them paperback. Paperback? What though? Paperback bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Very clearly paperback bitch. Hmm, 20 centimeters? Not big enough for me, stud. <laughs> the prince is like, stop talking to me that way. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, I know what happens. I know... Mm. Stop talking shit to me, Dad. Like, like, you should talk to him more like a child as opposed to a game. So it's not like you won't make it to the next stage. It's like you'll be grounded. <laughs> That's how you talk to kids. <laughs> you threaten them with punishment. <laughs> Unless they perform admirably. <laughs> Pretty much. The people that, uh, that I know. What's up with all these, uh... Third Reich robots. <laughs> Those are a little, little uh, awkward looking. I heard the original audio of this game had them all saying Heil Hitler when you picked them up. Jesus. Stop running into things. I'm going to look like a fucking idiot on the internet. Oh, it's okay. You could have the best run ever and people would still say you look like an idiot. But, you know what? It's, it's, I don't care what people say. <laughs> it's how you actually do look, though. It's my fucking self-perception. Ah, okay. I feel like I look like an idiot. And even if someone says, Wow, you did a really good job. I tell them to go suck a dick because I did poorly. <laughs> I'm such a huge fan of your channel. You did such a good job on that Katamari. Oh, man, suck a dick. 
Suck my fucking dick. <laughs> but you know, the way that parasocial relationships work, they'd probably be like, oh my god, dude, they're, they're asking me to have sex with them. That's amazing. Uh, I've never been approached by an internet celebrity before for sex. I don't quite know what to do. Do I say yes? Do I say no? I don't want to offend them. <laughs> And this is how um, <clears throat> celebrities end up exploiting the power dynamics of their relationships with their fans in order to get them to do things that they don't want to do for their own pleasure. Yeah. That shit's not good. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I bring down the mood? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think we have a mood. Maybe adults shouldn't be making children's content. <sighs> but it's easy money for them. You know what? I'm talking about someone really, really specific right now. And I hope that the people who watch this know who I'm talking about. I will say I don't, but I at least have my own thoughts and images about that. And you know what? The fact that someone probably came to mind... And it's probably not the same person I'm thinking about. <laughs> it's a big fucking problem. Yeah, uh, yeah, that is true. I want to start naming names. 